guys, it's time for a five-minute woodworking project. Yeah, that's right. This is a project you can get done in five minutes. Let me show you what it is. It's a magic trick. You've probably seen this before. It's a paddle that has, you know, a couple of stars on this side, and it has a couple of stars on that side. Again, a couple of stars on this side, a couple of stars on that side. But if I pull the stars off of that side, they're gone on this side. And if I pull them off of that side, they're gone on that side too. Since this is only a five-minute uh, woodworking project, and, well, really, it's hardly even a woodworking project, I thought I'd show you a couple of other magic illusions that you can try at home and you can impress your friends and family. Can you see my feet all right, cameraman? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm concentrating. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, it just takes just about everything out of me that there is. Here's another one you can impress the guys in the shop with. Twist your arm all the way around. Okay, cameraman, you getting a good shot of this? Yep. Okay, I'm going to pull this hand around. Okay, I'm working on it. Oh, God, that hurts. Let me, let me pull it some more. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. I'm almost got it. I think I can go further. I think I can. This is the ultimate in simplicity, this project. But really what you need is just a piece of hardwood. I've got a piece of maple here, and it's about an eighth of an inch thick. And all I'm going to do is I have spray mounted my template and I'll just stick it right on. And that's all there is to it. There you've got a, uh, well, basically your basic paddle. And so I'm just, um, you know, rounding over the edges, just trying to make it a little bit smoother. And there we go. And that spray paint dries in just a few minutes, and I got a sheet of these uh, stars. There's, you know, gold stars, like you've got in kindergarten. And, you know, maybe I'll just place one here, and well, maybe I'll do two. You know, of course, you can, you can put anything on here. I kind of like the idea of using these peel-off stars, because then I can just peel them off and change them, you know, if I want to. How did I levitate myself? Well, you've probably already figured it out. But if you haven't, I'm going to show it to you from a different angle, okay? Here I am, over here. Now remember, the whole key to this trick is that the person viewing it has to be standing over there. Okay, so here I am. You're looking at me from this way. Watch my feet now. Huh? 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 As far as twisting my hand around, did you notice I had on a long sleeve shirt? Let me take off my shirt, and I'll show you it with short sleeves. <laughs> Obviously, if my hands are like this, I can't go all the way around. But if I take this hand and put it that way, and this hand that way, if I've got a long sleeve shirt on, you can't tell. And then I can go all the way around. This paddle has, of course, the stars on one side and none on the other side. Well, the, the trick lies in the presentation of it, which... I don't claim to really be a good magician. Um, there are people who can really make this look cool. But what you do is, when, when you've got the stars up on this side, is you're just flipping it around, back and forth. But if I did it this way, you would see that. So um, there's something about when you're viewing things horizontally like this, and when you flip them, you, it, it kind of deceives the eye. So in other words, what you're doing is you're showing the stars, and as you're flipping it around, uh, you're also doing a quarter turn with your fingers. In other words, like that, like that, like that. Okay? And then, when, of course, when you want to show that there's no stars, you just flip it over naturally. Now, uh, of course, if you have a kid under the age of, you know, 13, they could probably do this way better than I can. But, anyways, that's the magic paddle, and you can certainly get it done in just a few minutes and, and give it to a kid if you've got some time out in your shop to work on it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, also, if you want to download my little template for this, it'll be in the description box somewhere, a, a PDF. I mean, there's really not much to it. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own, but you can download that. Uh, also, a reminder, please visit me on my website, woodworkingformeremortals.com. 
and my Facebook site because I'm, you know, always Facebooking. And, of course, Twitter. You can Twitter me and tweet, do that whole tweeting thing. Um, but you'll find all that on my website. Go there, you'll find it, or the YouTube site. And This is like TMI, TMI. I'm hip with the kids, man. A little bit, way too much ex... Hello? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did Daddy over? Yeah. Okay, I'm working with Wyatt to be the cameraman. This time has nothing to do with Wyatt's camera skills. Okay, let me show you how this... T <laughs> okay, I'm not going to make a crack this time. <laughs> Something you can make, you know, while you're fooling around and I'm talking too much. I don't know. I can pull them off of this side, and they're over there. I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Yep. <laughs>